In this tutorial, I'll show you the basics of using static text and dynamic text in the Blender game engine. Press X on the keyboard to delete the default cube. Add text. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Shift and middle mouse button to pan. Drag to make the properties window wider. Click the object data properties for the text. Now there are a large number of settings we can change for the text. For instance, I can set extrude to 0.05, bevel to 0.02, and resolution to 1 to give a nice 3D effect to the text. We can change the font. Go to the folder in your system where the fonts are stored. Mine is a Windows system. There is a folder called fonts. I'm going to use a font called impact. Some of the text settings are supported by the Blender Game Engine and some are not. Change to the Blender Game Engine. Click the Render button. Change shading to GLSL to use OpenGL shading. Change the shading for the 3D window to texture. Start the game engine and we see the font is supported but the 3D effects are not. Press escape. Duplicate the text. Hold down shift, press D and enter. Drag on the tip of the green arrow to move the duplicate down. Shift D, enter. Use the tip of the green arrow to move the duplicate up. To change the text content of a text object, go into edit mode. I'm going to change this to hello. The shortcut key for toggling between edit mode and object mode is the tab key. Select the next text, press tab, and change the next one to world. Tab key. The only way to keep the 3D effects with the current game engine is to convert the text object to a mesh object. Select the text. In the object menu, convert to mesh. Text objects are dynamic. We can change the content of the text while the game engine is running. Text that has been converted to mesh is static. We cannot change the content while the game engine is running. And once converted to mesh, we can't even go into edit mode to change the content. To change the text using logic bricks, drag to make the bottom window bigger. Change the bottom window to a logic editing window. Drag to close properties and zoom in with the mouse wheel. To make world invisible when we start the game engine, add an always sensor and a visibility actuator. The always sensor will send a single pulse at the start. If we untick visible, the mesh will be invisible. Add a keyboard sensor and another visibility actuator. Click on key and press the space bar. Connect those up and when the space bar is pressed, world will become visible. The normal way to set the initial value of a text object is to tab into edit mode and type in the initial value and tab back to object mode. Now I want the initial value to be an empty string of characters. Now I could delete all the characters, but we'd only be left with the object's center point, so I'm not going to do it that way. To initialize the value, add an always sensor and a property actuator. Now if I click on property, there are no properties to select. 
click the plus to open up the properties panel and add a text gain property. The property is called text with a capital T, you can't change that. Drag to close the panel, click on property and select the text property and assign a value of empty string which is two quotes in a row. Connect that up. Add a keyboard sensor and another property actuator. Click on key and press the enter key. Scroll down and assign to the property text a value in quotes news and connect those up. And finally select hello, scroll up, add a keyboard sensor and a visibility actuator. When we press enter we want the mesh object to change to be invisible. So now when I start the game engine we get hello, when I press the spacebar we get hello world and when I press enter we get world news. Press escape. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file for you to download to look at at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.